one of the most beautiful SL colors you can choose. There we go, 321 V8 AMG Symphony. <laughs> Guys, this is so loud. Hello guys, I am back today welcoming you all with this and this gorgeous view. Today you join me here in beautiful Abu Dhabi with the all new Mercedes AMG 2023 model SL55 AMG guys. Uh, another SL video, but today I will be presenting you not a German spec or US spec. Today we will be talking about the GCC spec, which doesn't come with an OPF. So we will be doing first of all an exterior tour, check out the beautiful and gorgeous interior and then we will be finishing it off with a sound check and i'm telling you right away the sound is so much better so let's get it on and start talking about the car itself at this point special thanks to mercedes-benz emirates motor company emc in abu dhabi for giving me this car and for letting me film and experience beautiful abu dhabi in perfect style we have the sl55 here i think in the uae and the gcc countries you only have the 55 if i'm not mistaken in germany you also have the 63 yeah the difference between the SL55 and the 63 is just, yeah, the power. I mean, you have the same engine, V8, 4 liter. But with this one, we have 476 horsepower. With the SL63, we have 585 horsepower, which is a massive difference. But yeah, at this point, we have a gorgeous spec, guys. I'm telling you, one of the most beautiful SL colors you can choose, Alpine Gray. Back in the day, they used to call it Arabian Gray, and it would perfectly fit to the scenery. Uh, but then they used to call it Classic Gray uni gray but now they renamed it again and i think the color is also a bit a bit brighter than the others so this is the new alpine gray and the sl55 full black exterior details we have the night package plus night package 2 which you can also see by the grill so let's get on and start with the front guys this place is just so beautiful the weather is amazing let's start with the tour the headlights we have the stock headlights we have the normal high performance leds not the digital light headlight unit they look exactly the same with the others you have more fun functions anyways talking about the grill we have the so-called panamericana front grill but this one is fully finished in black chrome as we have the night package 2 is a darkish chrome finish on this one and it looks very cool you see the normal chrome here and then you see the dark chrome with the exterior paint and all the night package parts i love it but i would prefer no night package and silver wheels if you ask me v8 front package here everything finished here in black gloss also the front splitter and parts looking really really cool and also i love the way the color kind of changes with the sun shades in germany the color looks so different but here with the light and with the sun it's just looking completely like like a like a new color and i really love this on the new alpine gray exterior paint let's talk about the wheels for a second here we have the multi-spoke y-shade amg wheels these are one of the best options you can go for 21 inches here in the front red brake calipers steel brakes you can also go for the carbon ceramic brakes on the side v8 by turbo badge for matic plus we have an all-wheel drive here also finished in dark chrome also the side mirror is finished in black gloss you can go for the carbon fiber exterior package then this would be carbon fiber sneak peek into the interior gorgeous i'm telling you but we'll be talking about that in a minute we have the seamless door handles as soon as i unlock the door they pop out also illuminated full finished in chrome when I lock the car, they move back in. And the rear rear axle steering coming from factory. We have 21 inches on this huge tire. The wheel option is just perfect. I really like it, but I'm also a huge fan of the silver alloys. 305 tires, Michelin love it so it's time to talk about the rear and guys just appreciate this view we are here at emirates palace and you need to visit it when you're here in abu dhabi this exterior paint in addition with the night package and the night package 2 and uh the quad exhaust looks so good as you know there's also four cylinder sl coming and it's already out sl 43 it's an option and in the future we will be also seeing the 63 se performance with plus 800 horsepower can't wait to show you that uh let's focus on the rear amg badge here full finished in dark chrome mercedes-benz style as well well, SL55 badge. We have the rear tail lights here, giving me a lot of S-Class wipes here. Very sharp finish. Uh, how do you guys like them? In the rear, here again, exhaust tips, full black gloss quad exhaust tips as we have the night package. Really cool. How do you like them? The sound, we'll be showing you that in a minute. It's gorgeous. It's really good. All in all, you also have the rear wing here. You can put that up. We'll be also demonstrating you that when we do the sound. The top of this one, of the soft top SL, is black. So now it's time to talk about 
the inside. I have the key here, the new one, also with the AMG emblem, popping up the door handles and now talking about this. And as soon as we are inside, let me just put that off. As soon as we are inside and I close the door, just, just look at the animation, guys. Wow, in addition with the red interior, a leather, it looks so good. And now we are inside the new SL55. So talking about the inside, let me just start the ignition. First of all, we have the new interior buttons here coming alive. Love it. And yes, display, as we already know, you can tilt that. Here, display angle, you just set it fully electronic. You can also see the Emirates Palace here on the 3D navigation and all the other cool spots we know here. All in all, the system itself works really, really good. I have to say that. But uh, somehow I have a big problem about the interior as a Mercedes-Benz fanboy because uh, the SL, if you think about it, let me just debadge it, okay? If we don't have a Mercedes-Benz star or an AMG badge inside, what would you say is the name of this model here? Definitely not an SL. I can't find anything that really reminds me of an SL in the inside. We have a display in front of us. We have another one here. It's very huge. I have uh, nothing right over here. It feels, yeah, very empty. So yeah, less emotions, which doesn't mean that it's bad. It's really good. The system is so easy to use and I know in which way we are evolving and going. Therefore, I can accept it, but I wish they put something in to remind the SL customers that this is an SL in the inside. Uh, we also have the illuminated air vents here, full red interior, really nice seats, also with the AMG badge here. I really love the, the look, also with the carbon fiber trim in the inside, ambient colors on the steering wheel itself. Yeah, it's a thick one. We have the flat bottom one with the steering wheel buttons. And uh, here you can set the front aero, extending it, you can hear it, exactly. And now we have reduced ground clearance, which is normal. And now let me also put up the rear wing. There we go, you can just do it by the button here. Now, uh, let's go ahead and start with the sound check, okay? Are you guys ready? Uh, I, as I mentioned, it's very loud and it's way better sounding than the US and German cars, okay? Even though these were sounding really good. Three, two, one, V8 AMG Symphony. Emotion start, nice. Listen up. Okay, I love it. Whoa. Guys, do you hear that? Pops and bangs, just so. <laughs> Guys, this is so loud. Uh, let's just jump outside and also listen it uh, from the outside, okay? Are you ready? Let's go. So now guys, it's time to demonstrate you multiple things. First things first, we will be closing the soft top, okay? You can do that by the interior unit and also the way it closes really fast, you see? There we go. It closes within uh, like 17 seconds. There we go. Also this glass in the rear is also heated. All the windows going up. And now we will be putting the wing up, okay? Let's just do that. There we go. And now we will be starting and firing up this V8 AMG piece. Let's get it on. Guys, how do you like the V8 Symphony? As I mentioned, it's it's way louder than the German cars, but when driving, it's even better. And I will be posting the driving video soon. All in all, how do you guys like it? Just leave it in the comment section below. Rate the sound from one to 10, let's go. So that's it basically for today's video guys. How do you like today's episode here from Abu Dhabi with this beautiful SL55. At this point, big thanks to EMC, Mercedes-Benz of Abu Dhabi for giving me this car, for letting me film here and uh, yeah, enjoy my time. All in all, how do you like this car in specific, the exterior, the interior and the sound? I want to read all your opinions in the comment section below. Which car should we film next? Looking forward to see you all again and wish you an amazing day. I will be back.